In 1901, sponge divers off the Greek island of Antikythera uncovered a shipwreck that held a device unlike any other. This 2,000-year-old machine, now called the Antikythera mechanism, contained bronze gears and dials capable of tracking celestial events. The story begins in 1900, when Captain Dimitrios Kantos and his crew of sponge divers sought shelter near Antikythera. Diving to 45 meters, they found a Roman shipwreck from around 60 BCE. The wreck yielded treasures, marble statues, gold coins, glassware, and jewelry. Among these artifacts was a corroded lump of bronze and wood, initially overlooked. In 1902, archaeologist Valerio Stias examined this object at the National Archaeological Museum in Athens. He noticed a gear wheel embedded within it, an unexpected find for an artifact so ancient. The device, later named the Antikythera mechanism, dated to between 150 and 100 BCE. Its complexity baffled scholars. Gears were not thought to exist in antiquity, as mechanical devices like clocks appeared only in the medieval period over a millennium later. Stace's discovery prompted questions about the device's purpose and creators. Early theories suggested it was an astrolabe, a tool for measuring star positions. But the presence of gears hinted at something more advanced. The Antikythera mechanism is a compact device measuring about 34 by 18 by 9 centimeters, roughly the size of a shoebox. It contains at least 30 bronze gears, with some estimates suggesting up to 69. These gears, with triangular teeth, were precisely crafted with a pitch of 1.6 millimeters. The device was housed in a wooden case, with dials and pointers on both the front and back. A hand crank connected to the largest gear, which had 223 teeth, drove the mechanism's functions. The mechanism served as an astronomical calculator. Its front face displayed the positions of the sun and moon through the zodiac, divided into 12 constellations. A rotatable ring showed the Egyptian calendar, with 12 months of 30 days plus 5 extra days. Seven pointers indicated the Sun, Moon, and five known planets – Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. A small sphere, half black and half silver, rotated to show the Moon's phases, driven by a differential gear that accounted for its irregular orbit. The back of the device featured five dials. The metonic dial tracked a 19-year cycle of 235 lunar months aligning solar and lunar calendars. The Saros dial, with 223 months, predicted eclipses based on a cycle of 18 years and 11 days. The Calypic dial marked a 76-year cycle, refining the metonic calculations. The Exoligmos dial extended eclipse predictions over 54 years. A fifth dial recorded the four-year cycle of athletic festivals, including the Olympic Games, with inscriptions naming events like the Isthmia and Nemea. The mechanism's ability to predict eclipses relied on Babylonian astronomical cycles incorporated into its design. Hidden inscriptions in ancient Greek discovered later provided instructions for operating the device and described celestial movements. These texts confirm the mechanism's role as a mechanical model of the cosmos, simulating the geocentric universe as understood by the ancient Greeks, with Earth at the center and celestial bodies orbiting around it. For decades, the mechanism's corroded state limited research. Its 82 fragments, some reduced to Atticamite by seawater, were too fragile to handle. In the 1950s, Historian Derek J. DeSola Price used X-ray and gamma-ray imaging to study the fragments, revealing more gears and inscriptions. A major breakthrough came in 2005, when a team led by Mike Edmonds at Cardiff University applied X-ray tomography. This technology allowed researchers to see inside the fragments without damaging them, mapping the gears arrangement and tooth counts. 
the 2005 study confirmed the mechanism as an analog computer. By turning the crank, users could set a date and watch the dials update to show the positions of celestial bodies. The device could simulate past or future events, such as eclipses, with remarkable accuracy. One gear with 223 teeth aligned with the Saro cycle, enabling precise eclipse predictions. Another gear tracked Venus's movements over centuries, demonstrating the Greeks' advanced astronomical knowledge. Recent research has further clarified the mechanism's design. In 2016, scientists decoded inscriptions revealing cycles for Venus and Saturn. In 2021, a team from University College London created a detailed digital model showing how all components work together. Functional replicas, including one displayed in 2024 at the University of Sonora, Mexico, demonstrate the mechanism's operation. These replicas confirm that the device could track celestial events, though 2025 simulations suggest gears might jam after four months, indicating minor inaccuracies, especially for Mars. The Antikythera mechanism's sophistication points to a blend of disciplines, astronomy, mathematics, and mechanics. Its use of epicyclic gearing, which modeled the planet's apparent retrograde motion, was particularly advanced. This motion, where planets seem to move backward due to Earth's orbit, was explained by epicycles in the geocentric model. The mechanism's gears simulated these complex paths, a feat requiring precise calculations and engineering. The device's origins remain debated. Radiocarbon dating places its construction around 200 BCE, earlier than previously thought. Some attribute it to Greek scientists like Hipparchus, known for his work on astronomy, or Archimedes, a master of mechanics. However, the mechanism's eclipse predictions use Babylonian mathematical models, suggesting influence from Mesopotamian astronomy. This cross-cultural exchange highlights the interconnectedness of ancient knowledge. The mechanism's purpose is also unclear. It may have been used by astronomers to study the cosmos or by priests to predict celestial events for religious purposes. Some suggest it was a teaching tool, demonstrating astronomical principles to students. Others propose it was a luxury item owned by wealthy elites or navigators, possibly used to cast horoscopes based on planetary positions. Its presence on a ship bound for Rome supports the idea of it being a valuable object, perhaps destined for a high-status buyer. The Antikythera mechanism raises questions about technological progress. No similar devices appear in historical records for over a thousand years, creating a gap in the timeline of mechanical innovation. Some attribute this to historical disruptions, such as the Roman conquest of Greece around 146 BCE, which destroyed cities and libraries. Others suggest the mechanism's bronze components were melted down for weapons or statues, erasing evidence of similar technology. Another theory posits that the device was exclusive, reserved for elite astronomers or priests, limiting its spread. The shipwreck's location offers clues to the mechanism's fate. In 2012 and 2015, divers returned to the site, finding a bronze disc with a bull image, hinting at more artifacts. The ship, carrying 300 tons of cargo, likely sank in a storm, preserving the mechanism in the seabed's mud. This chance preservation contrasts with the loss of other potential devices, which may lie undiscovered underwater or misidentified in museum collections. The mechanism challenges assumptions about ancient civilizations. It shows the Greeks possessed advanced engineering skills capable of creating a device that modeled the cosmos with gears. This mechanical philosophy, where gears represented celestial movements, influenced later Byzantine and Islamic devices, such as astrolabes. 
As we study this device, we are reminded of the fragility of progress and the enduring quest to understand the cosmos. Share your thoughts in the comments, like this video, and subscribe for more stories about history's hidden wonders.